Yeah. Hey, Eric. What? Guess what? What? Sky Strikers. Hey everyone, welcome to Team Forbidden's YouTube page again. It's Andrew the Collector here with a update-ish, I guess, since Eric was, was the first and last one to do it. For Sky Strikers. In My version wasn't even like fully completed because the, out, of the, out of the six boxes we pulled only one engage. That's true. <laughs> that was good. Did you make fun. Sky Striker Orcus? No, I didn't. It was before Orcus. Hmm. It was like way, way before Orcus. Yeah. Anyway, uh, for... For Sky Strikers, um, they are very budget. I was literally, except for Rose, I was able to make this entire deck um, from, um, except for the cards I already had, for literally under like thirty dollars. All the Sky Striker cards are cents. Like I said, except for Rose, it's the most expensive one. But all the other cards are either commons or a reprinted uh, secret rare that you can get from other sets like the Mega Tens or the Maximum Gold. The deck is incredibly cheap, and it's still, even with Engaged Band, it's still incredibly, incredibly resilient. <laughs> so, let's just get right into it. To start off, we have to play with uh, three Sky Striker Ray. She is the main, uh, main monster in your deck. Uh, she used to be the only one. Um, but yeah, she's really good. Her quick effect is that you can um, it, you can use her as a link material. So kind of think like Formula Synchron, except for linking off into one of the Sky Striker mon uh, link monsters. And she has a graveyard effect. To, if a monster, a uh, Sky Striker link monster you control is destroyed, you can special summon her back. So yeah, it's really good. You need to run three, no less than three. If you're not, then you're an idiot. I'm only uh, running one uh, Ace Rose. You could, uh, a lot of people run two, but I, I, I'm I fine with uh, her only at one because most of the time I do prefer Ray over Rose most of the time. So uh, just go just go based on your own, on your own, own opinion. And for the rest of the monster lineup, uh, we are running uh, two Ghost Spell because, um, because Ghost, this deck, uh, one of this deck's biggest weaknesses is uh, hand traps, mainly Gamma. And this stops Gamma just as much as Ash. So, I mean, you can run Ash if you want, but I'm choosing to run Ghost, uh, Ghost Spell in this. And then two DD Crow against any Graveyard Center decks or Elvish matchups. And then two Gamma Seal because, um, you know, it's the best form of removal in case you go up against any problematic monsters. One Alpha because it's funny to Kaiju your opponent's monster, special Alpha, bounce them both back, and Kaiju again. Hey, that's my trick. Yeah. And then one Dino Rose or Pinker Tops because uh, this de deck likes to go second, uh, likes to go second a lot of the time. So, yeah, why wouldn't you run him? Now off to the meat of the deck, the spells. Three Widow Anchor. It's Widow Anchor. She used to be limited, and then semi-limited. Now she's back at three. You need her to interrupt your opponent's plays, uh, steal their monsters, and use them for your own stuff. Uh, Sky, Stri uh, uh, Sky Striker uh, Afterburner. Uh, one thing that you, um, if you are just now getting back into the game and don't know anything about Sky Strikers, the spells um, have two effects. Their first, their first standard one, but then they have a second effect if that you can activate in the same um, effect range if you control three or more. So Widow Anchor's uh, first effect is that you can uh, negate a monster effect on the field, um, and the second one is that you um, steal the monster too. Afterburner, you pop a monster, and its second effect is you pop a back row. Non-targeting. <laughs> Non-targeting, yes. Then two, area zero, um, uh, pops your own stuff to excavate and hopefully get a, a Sky Striker card to your hand, and then sets up your graveyard with um, other spells. Uh, two, Shark Cannon, you can run three, but I think it's fine, I think it's fine at two. Um, its first effect is that you can banish a monster oh, from your God. opponent's graveyard. And the second effect is you can Monster Reborn it instead. To uh, again, to help with your link plays. And this your call by the Grave Replacements? Yes. <laughs> uh, one Eagle Booster. Um, yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, what was it? Booster. Oh yeah, it's, um, its first effect is that um, it makes your makes your monster unaffected by card effects. And its second second effect is that it can't, your opponent, your monster can't be a sort of battle. And then for the one ofs, one Hornet Drones to get a token out to uh, uh, to get your Link Monster plays, and it, and you can recycle it back because it's also not once per turn. 
and then one um, multi-roll uh, to pop your uh, pop your own stuff to make your um, uh, what is it spell, spell cards um, spell speed four. And at the end phase, you can recur them back based on how many you uh, how activated many you've activated. Activated. Andrew, what? Where's he get it? It's banned. I know. <laughs> I know. And let's hope it stays banned because even though I am playing a Sky Striker deck, engage should stay banned. Not at one, not at two, and fuck no at three. Banned. Unless they give it a one hard once per turn clause, it's banned. PSA of the day. <laughs> PSA Stickets. of the day. And then next is Mystic Mind. Yeah. <laughs> the best Sky Striker card. <laughs> yeah, the best, the best Sky Striker deck. The best Sky Striker card. <laughs> again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. As long as hard combo decks exist, like Dragon Link, like Infernoble Noble Knights were, I will always play Mystic Mind in any deck that uh, that allows it. You, If you don't have a lot of stuff that you can do for your turn, you slap this down and just stall out the game until you get all your all your pieces, and then you activate area zero to, you know, get rid of it, or any of your or you know any of your other spell cards. Uh, spell cards. Uh, Mystic Space Typhoon doesn't negate. <laughs> You're probably wondering why am I running this and not uh, jamming waves and not jamming waves or Cosmic Cyclone for or Cosmic Cyclone. Cyclone a lot of people are ash are main decking Lancia. So if you you activate it, you pay a thousand life points, they chain Lancia, well there you go. With this, you still get rid of their back row. Yes, it's not as good as it uh, in the Eldritch matchup, but if they pull an uh, Imperial Order on you, you're gonna wish you have this in your hand. But doesn't they get No it doesn't. Yeah. Unless it's on the activation of a continuous spell or trap. <laughs> and then two pod desires, uh, you only need two. I don't believe in having three pod desires because you pod desires into another pod desires is the worst feeling on the planet. And one terraforming, obviously, because we have area zero in the Mystic Mines. And then one pod of avarice because you do go through your extra deck rather quickly. And I'm actually thinking of taking out pod of desires and putting in a putting in three. Putting in three of these, it's that good in this deck. And it's not once per turn. One, one Begone Demon Child, one Regeki, Upstart, and then Rota because uh, Ace Ray is a warrior. Again, this, this deck is highly based on spell cards, so you're gonna run a lot of them. And the only traps that I run are two Strike and two Judgment. Now to the extra deck. Three Kagari, you can recur. You uh, you can re help recur your spell uh, spell cards from the graveyard. Three Hayate, send cards to the graveyard. Send cards to the graveyard and attack directly. Shizuku, end phase search. End phase search, and uh, it de and it decreases your opponent's uh, your opponent's monsters attack by one hundred for every spell card in your graveyard. Uh, Kagari, I actually forgot to mention, she gains one hundred attack for every spell card in the graveyard. The opposite of Shizuku. <laughs> and then two kind. Kaina. Kaina? 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 Whatever. Smash. Uh, summon her and then your uh, target your opponent and it can't attack while it's face up on the field. Uh, a lot of people don't really like her. Um, I disagree. She's actually can be really good in some instances. It'd be even better if she didn't target, but it is what it is. But play it as your own will. Uh, one Nightmare, one Unicorn, one Boar Load, and one Ava Max. Then that Roll Sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I said, uh, this is like I said, this is a budget version, uh, which is why you don't see me running Celine or Axis Code Talker. Um, that's why I'm running the Boral Sword and the Abram Max and everything. But if you have those cards, then definitely run them because they work a lot better in a lot of instances. Because Axis Code Talker, in and of itself, is a win condition. So anyway, um, hope you guys liked the like it. Um, if you have any ideas for the deck and, or any future deck profiles or future videos, please let us know in the comments down below. Check out our Patreon because we do have a lot of cool rewards for those who sign up. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll catch you guys later.